Bro, you're the nicest UFC <laughs> fighter in the world, dude. Shout out Basement Talk, man. But I'm gonna buy at least two of your ears off. I make more than a million dollars in a day sometimes. <laughs> you better buy that. Dang, the excitement is radiating. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you, I was asleep, bro. I'm so tired. I was like, Were shit. you training all day? No, I didn't. That's I didn't train at all today. Damn. Yeah. You feel like you'd be more awake if you were training? Oh, for sure. Yeah, you just yeah. up and moving. What's your training schedule? Um, I'll do one session in the morning, one session in the evening right now. Okay. But like any time, like usually like 10, like 10 to 1, 10 to 12. And then like, uh, like 6 to... Like six to eight or six to nine. But when it's like time for like fight, you got to go hard. Yeah. Like yeah. it's different. How many off days do you give yourself a week? It all depends. Like uh, it depends on how my body feels, you know, yeah. like I'm I'm one of those guys that is uh, I'm, I'm big on off days, you know, mm -hmm. like mental clarity, you know, just resetting. If you don't get that, man, well, if I don't get it, I, I don't perform well, so. Yeah, and I'm sure from experience, I know in your last, like, you said four or five fights, you got injured after all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts, so you kind of got to track your stuff after that. Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty crazy to think about, you know, it's like, I fought, when I fought Gamera, I had a fracture in my leg. Yeah. Um, what part, I, like, what part of your... Uh, I think it was the summer around here, I don't oh, remember. God, exactly. damn. You take a kick? Yeah, yeah, I just checked the kick. Yeah. Fuck, dude. And had a fracture in my leg. Nothing too major. It only took like four weeks to heal, like four or five weeks. Um, before that, who did I fight before that? Before I fought Brad, I had tore my tricep tendon and um, I had like a bone spur and I like popped like, I had to get surgery after that Brad fight, long story short. Damn. Um, dang, who did I fight before that? You don't even remember. Malarkey. <laughs> I think Malarkey, I didn't have an injury. Malarkey, oh, okay. I didn't have an injury. I was good. Yeah, you teed off on that guy. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I watched that fight. <laughs> like, damn, you got hands. That was nuts. Yeah, that was crazy. And then you said you had dogs. Yeah. You hang out with your dogs a lot? All the time. All the time. Yeah, I've been uh I've been chilling on the on the dogs a little bit more. Like I haven't like been taking them on to train as much as I used to, but we just been hanging out, you know. What kind of training do you do? For the dogs, um, just a lot just of like MMA. You guys shit. like spar? Yeah, yeah. Are they throwing high kicks at you or what? <laughs> I mean, they spar with the decoy. They don't spar with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do. Um, I do like protection sport with them. Oh, okay. Yeah, super so, cool. So like high level obedience, um, like bite work, like you know the people in the suits, like they yeah. they do that stuff. So do you have one of those suits? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. badass. That's cool. Oh, the ones where they like those big ones you? where like the yeah. canines, like oh my, what kind of gosh. dog is it? A uh, bully and a pit bull. A bully and a pit bull. Yeah. Um, I was at. I actually should I tell him about. I know. Yeah, yeah dude. Because we when I was talking before, when I was like, how old was I? Both of us. I mean, we were like I was 14? like ten. You were like no, you we weren't ten, dude. You were like yeah. eleven, twelve. No, you were twelve. These Something two, like I that. I was fourteen, <laughs> bro. I ding dong ditch Rampage's house. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh, that's sus, bro. I rang the doorbell. And I was like, oh, shit. The freaking dude, I don't know if it was Rampage or like who it was, maybe a nanny or something, let the pit bull out. Oh, and no that way. thing chased me, dude, for like, <laughs> bro, bro I, have, I have wheels, though. Like, now I don't have wheels, bro. I'm, I'm a little fucking out of shape right now. Dude, like, those I'll things probably were get fucking killed. no joke. Yeah, no joke. But yeah, Rampage's dog chased me, dude. I'll that's never wild. forget it. And yeah, I was like crazy. looking back like. Oh my gosh! Like I can't <laughs> believe this just happened. It was insane. He had a courtyard. He had a courtyard, and we ran through. I opened the no. There was a doorbell outside the gate, and I rang the doorbell, and then they let the dogs loose. Oh, <laughs> they damn, just knew. Crazy. Like <laughs> fuck this kid. I don't need to run after him. What? He's gonna beat my ass anyway, dude. I thought it was cool to like ding dong ditch him, bro. <laughs> Can you just imagine that on Rampage's camera? Yeah. Kobe Ryan. Just watching this little fat yeah. kid fucking run out if of the If you're watching this, bro, I'm, I'm so sorry. But yeah, you got me good, dude. <laughs> Did you ding dong ditch after that? Never. Yeah. He learned your lesson. I learned yeah. my lesson. Yeah. We would walk by sometimes yeah. now and we'd hear dogs in the corner just barking. We're like, good. Yeah. That's scared, huh? No, no walk chance. Away that's from crazy. That. No like, chance. But yeah. <laughs> that's a funny story. I saw you recently just did Rampage's podcast. How was that? It was cool. Yeah. yeah it was fun. Yeah. I fought on the same card as him a long time ago. And I like I brought it up and he was like, Oh yeah, what? Like, yeah. I was like, That's a true. I was like, dang, bro, you don't remember me? 
Yeah, yeah. Mean, you had to call him yeah, out. I gave him grief for it, but no, nah, he's he's cool. Rampage is the homie. Yeah, he's really cool. Who was cool. he fighting on that card? Uh, he fought Chael Sonnen. No oh, way! Yeah. Wow, yeah, that's, that's crazy. A long time ago. Two you, good shit talkers. You, um, like obviously, you're in the highest level of fighting in the world. Where did it start? Like, did you start when you were really little, or did you know how? How did you get into that? Um, no, nah, I started kind of late actually. I did. I tried out for wrestling. I tried, tried out for wrestling my sophomore year of high school. I made the team, ended up breaking my finger before the season started. Oh, Doctors were like, oh, you broke your finger on your growth plate. Don't wrestle anymore unless you want a stubby finger when you're older. So I was like, nah, I'm good on a stubby finger. Yeah. <laughs> so I stopped wrestling. Next year they cut the pro- uh, they cut the program. And um, that started like my whole spark and like interest of MMA. Fast forward a couple years later, I started training with some homies in the backyard. Like just like, you know, just putting on gloves and just sparring. Yeah. And I had this friend that was uh he was good. Like he actually trained like MMA and Muay Thai and boxing. So I was like, man, because I was like like touching everybody up. So I was like, if I do good against him, I'm I'm pretty good, you know. Like I, I knew. And uh we did good. We had like a back and forth like 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 match and I was like, dang, I could probably do this. So I started training in my backyard and made a fight team tryout. Um Went to this local gym, made the team, started fighting since. That's crazy. And then do you give those guys credit? Like that first gym you went to, do you still talk to those guys today? Um, I talk to a couple people that train there. Like I, I talk to the coaches still. Um, I don't really talk to the owners too much. But, you know, it's all up. What about that friend you licked up in the backyard? Is he all <laughs> jealous and shit? Yeah. Nah, nah. You're he, pro he's like, him. I fucked him up back in <laughs> yeah, the day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, he's still a homie. Everybody's still a homie. That's cool. Follow. They still show support and love. So, you know, it's, it's cool. It's genuine. So That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Was there anybody, like, early on that didn't want you fighting? Like, family members, My friends? Mom. Your mom? Yeah, um, I'm sure. She, she hates when I tell the story. She did not want me fighting. Really? Nah. She, she, was, she was against it, for sure. And then, uh, because, like, growing up, she, this, is her, this is her side of the story. She says, growing up, I had all these phases, right? Like, I was, I loved animals. I was super into animals. I started skateboarding. I was super into skateboarding. And, like, I was just in and out of things. So she was like, well, are you going to stick to it if you do this? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, mom, I'm going to stick to it. Like, trust me. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I don't know. And then she ended up taking me to the fight team trial and everything. But, um, yeah, she was super skeptical. She seen me spar. I got dropped by this, <laughs> this dude named Sonny. Yeah. Uh, first day he hit me in the body and I fell. Boom, I was out. And she was like, "Yeah, I can't watch you spar." <laughs> yeah. She was like, "I can't go." But now she goes to every fight. She's my number one supporter. She's oh, like, that's awesome. Yeah, she she takes care of me, so it's good. First oh, time you cool. went, you were sparring, right? First training. Yep. Damn, Damn, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah. Is, were you going hard at them like first day, or you're kind of just? I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. The like guy that, just you know? put hit you in the liver, or what? It's just straight solar plexus. <laughs> oh Damn. my god, yeah. that's crazy. Teep. Boom. I'm sure she's seen some worse shots now, huh? The oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whole yeah. career you've had. Yeah. That's she was crazy. there. She was there enough. Yeah, she was there at the dad fight. Yeah. yeah. Fight. That's awesome. That Top. was a crazy fight. Oh nuts. my gosh, dude. War. Like yeah. straight war. What 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 do you get out of a fight like that now in your career? I'm sure you had a lot of fights before then, but then having something like that like later in your career. Shoot, sure, honestly, the only thing I get is like I really understand how tough these dudes are gonna be now because that was the toughest guy I've ever... Like, I fought some tough dudes. He was the toughest I ever fought. Yeah. You know, like, he he endured everything I threw at him. I was like, bro, like... Broke his face, broke, broke his, his arm. arm and like... he kept coming. I was like, how is this possible? Like, yeah. How are you that tough, dude? Like, so... That's, that's the number one thing I learned, you know? Like, yeah. To prepare for those dudes that aren't going to get put away by a lot of damage, so... 100%. Yeah. And I saw you you sparred with Sean Strickland. I saw you were in there with Hamzad at one point. What's it like sparring with guys like that? I'm sure they give you that same feeling of like, whoa, these guys are animals, like some beasts. <laughs> I've been sparring with Strickland for years. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I, mean, I was just watching a video of him last night sparring. That guy's crazy. And dude. that's the king of sparring, they call him. <laughs> we, we go way back. Yeah. We, yeah, we, we go way back. So, you know. <laughs> How's it seeing him champion now? It, it was It's amazing. You yeah. Know, it really inspired me. Like, it was cool. Like, I didn't get to spar him too much for his camp. I only did, like, one, one session with him. But, you know, like, I've been sparring with him for years. So, you know, he's already been, he already been prepared for the Israel to sign his style. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah, man, it just, it really, it really helped me a lot. He's always telling me, like, come out and train, come out and train. So, yeah, it's cool, bro. It's really yeah. cool because, like, we're from the same area, too. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so it was hype to see. It's um, awesome. Some California yeah, boys. Yeah. Yes, sir. What part of California? Uh, Inland Empire. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's cool. So, 
it was cool to see. You know, at the same time, though, I'm a big Izzy fan. Like, I, like, I'll respect to Izzy, too. Yeah. So it was like... It Your was, styles match up a little bit, too? Dude, I, I tailor-made a lot of my game toward, after him, after Jones and Silva, like, growing up. Because the long link you do is yeah. like, doing and that, it big. You know? You're like them in your division, for sure. I was going to ask, like, does that give you... Do you think it's an advantage or a disadvantage being as tall as you are in the lightweight division? Uh, It's both. Yeah, right? Yeah. It it depends. It, it just depends on who the opponent is, mm. you know, because um, I feel like it's uh, like a lot of pressure grapplers are they're They're good for long guys because like they can like use all, all these limbs. And then, you know, if a long guy doesn't know how to use their leverage or get certain uh, create certain spaces in like the grappling exchanges and they yeah. can always keep that capital, you know, and stay on top. So it just depends. Like striking wise, it's usually really good, but most tall guys don't know how to fight long, you know? Mm. So it's just, it, it all depends. It's a gift. It's a gift more than anything. If you know how to use it, you know, for sure. Would you ever think of moving up to welter? Um, not anytime soon. Yeah. Cause yeah, yeah I saw in one video, you're saying you walk around at 190. I was, I was just going to ask that too. Yeah. You're, no, no, you're not walking around no. at 190. We no, put you on the scale though right <laughs> yeah. now. Should I pull out the scale? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right right I wish He's I had ready. one actually. I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably say, it'll probably say once 183. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's about what I wear right now. And you got to cut to 155, right? Yeah. That's, that's how's that cut? Wow. Yeah, I've been doing it for years. Yeah, you're 155. Used to it now. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, imagine that, Kobe. You have to drop 30 pounds before a fight. I, would, I think I'd wither away. <laughs> I'd be done. I mean, dude. have you seen the Patty Pimlet guy? He probably yeah. has an eating disorder now. It's oh, crazy. Dude, you get an eating disorder from cutting weight for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, after that first week, after the weigh ins, you just want to eat anything and everything in your sight. <laughs> Is yeah. there any way to like healthily go about like cutting that much weight? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's not like, um, it's not like, a one-stop shop process like you mm. kind of like taper down so once i get in camp i usually walk around at like 175 so once i once i get 175 i just know i'm in the clear and then i just cut the rest of the weight like the, the last couple of weeks it's pretty like all water weight probably at that yeah. point huh mm -hmm. what's your first meal though because you're saying you want to eat anything what, what are you going oh for? yeah like after the cut fruit something healthy Really? Yeah. Really? Still really, nothing yeah. greasy? No. Is that just you being like a grinder trying to stay healthy? Yeah. Yeah. I used to be bad. I used to eat like calamari, burgers, fries, like anything. Go crazy yeah. first yeah. night after the fight. And then um, my coach Anthony was like, uh, what the hell are you eating? He was like, what, <laughs> yeah. what, you eat that? I was like, yeah, I've done it for years. I was, he was like, no, we're <laughs> not doing that. And then I was like, okay, it was news to me, you know? Yeah. So. Do you have a nutrition coach? Yeah, um, yeah. They there's a uh, the director for the UFC. He he helps me out a lot, so it's been good. That's good. Do you do you have uh, like any attributes that you think like you're the best at in the UFC? Because I can I can kind of name some off the top of my head that I've noticed that you do a little differently. Obviously, I'm not a UFC like specialist, but what are like your best attributes? You think? Dang, that's a good question. I haven't thought of that. Shoot, I don't know, my poise, my composure, I think that's it, I don't Stay know. Stay pretty calm. Yeah. For sure. And you got them hands. Bro, you're the and nicest UFC fighter I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you're the nicest guy. Dude, I don't know how you're a UFC fighter. Honestly, bro. It's like I'm sitting next to my best friend from high school or something. Seriously. Couldn't imagine this you're guy amazing, beating anybody dude. up, Cole. I Like, no, that. I just can't imagine this guy being an octagon, honestly. Yeah. I yeah. just have like a love right here. I love that. Where, love like that. I feel warm right now. <laughs> yeah, what is, it's what is that for you? It's fucking hot in here, but shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, seriously though, you're like, do you, you ever get an urge to talk shit or anything? Or yeah, because that's not really a part yeah, of your dude, persona. Yeah, dude, you're bro, you're the nicest <laughs> UFC fighter in the world, dude. He's calling out. I don't here. fucking care. I'll say it right now. <laughs> I get the urge, like, but then I, I look at people that do it, and it's like they they always shoot themselves in the foot doing it. You Never know? a good it's look. Like, like yeah, you're gonna talk shit, but then for what? You know, like you go like any as soon as you talk, like, as soon as you just talk shit, you take an L. And people are gonna use that, use it against you. It's like for what? Like you know, you're gonna go fight at the end of the day. Why are you gonna like talk all this noise? Like I get it, I get why people do it. Like I like I'm entertained when people talk shit to each other. Like yeah, it makes me want to like be engaged more. But it's just it's not really me, you know. Yeah. So I'm just like, probably whatever. easier to stay true to yourself too. Is yeah. there ever a time though where like someone's saying or chirping to you? And you like really want to like just get after him right there? 
that no, it hasn't happened for a while. It hasn't happened. But it used to. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What was I the mean, incident? <laughs> just, oh, just, pe- just people just talking noise, you know. And it's usually not fighters; it's usually like fans, like just okay. random folks just popping at the mouth. You know? Is there any fighter like that talks a lot of noise on you that like you keep your mouth shut, but like maybe we could like let them know that they suck or <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> Off pod. Hey, I don't know. Nobody's saying my name too. Yeah, nobody, the only, the only fighter saying my name right now is Moicano, but I don't. Moy Kano. Pay yeah. no attention Fuck to Fuck you. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> yo. Yo. Nah, dude, I can't fight. What's going to happen no, when Jalen's not we with me? Yeah. Come I'm on, fucked. man. Moy Kano. We don't want you. No, no. no. <laughs> He's got a Hasbulla T on, dude. Yeah, dude. Like he's crazy right now. He's dude. on top of the world. You think you could take Hasbulla? <laughs> Punt Hasbulla. Dude, you'd kick him across the room. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's not cool. No, he wouldn't okay, kick him. Yo, oh, God. <laughs> say that. Zach said that. Zach yeah, said that, bro. <laughs> Chill. Oh my God, dude. But tell me about your family. Um, shoot, which part? I saw you have kids. Yeah, I got two kids. Um, boy and a girl. The son will be six, and my daughter's four. Oh my gosh, that's a big blessing. Yeah, yeah that's, that's awesome. amazing. Do they understand what you're doing for work yet, or? <laughs> Uh yeah, I think I think they get a good understanding. Okay. I take them to the gym with me, you know. Awesome. So that's cool. they they're always trying to like like swing on people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Stand apple doesn't early. fall far from the tree, right? Oh, that's a fact. That's, that's a cool. Fact. Yeah. You ever have to like switch modes super quick? Like you're in the gym training, you're in fighter mode, and then you have to like turn around. You notice the kids crying, and you gotta go daddy mode Dang. all the time. Yeah, yeah you put Hasbulla against them, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you think your kids could take Hasbulla? <laughs> I don't know, but that'd be an interesting match to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. What sport are you going would you put your kids in? Um dang. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever they want to do. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's like I support whatever they want. And the only thing I ask of them is that they learn how to defend themselves, you know. If they want to fight, that's on them. Like I'm never gonna like push them to pursue this career because you know, I know all that it comes with, like the the health the health risks, you know, the Mental damage, the ups and downs. I guess it's intense, you know. So I'm not. Which I'm not gonna put that on. That for yeah, sure. tell me about the mental health being in the UFC and like being a fighter. Maybe not making weight. Maybe not getting paid enough. Like, tell me about not getting that. that opportunity. Man, <laughs> it's it's intense. Even There's the journey like, to where you are now. I mean, it's yeah. crazy, right, bro? I went through. I went through every up and down. Like I can, I can think of or you can imagine. You know, like. Shoot, winning fights, losing fights, working a nine to five, trying to make ends meet. I had a kid. I had my son when I was 22, you know. And oh, wow. I, I still didn't like sidetrack or, or disengage from my dream, you know. I kept pursuing the whole time, so it was hard, you know. And I always look back and like I really thank my mom because like she really helped me out a lot and supported me through that. So that's awesome. But yeah, man, like I remember I got my fight on uh, the Contender Series. I was working at UPS. Dang. And I, I was like, yo, like, can I get take a leave of absence or something? Like, can I just like, uh, you know, like leave on good terms? They were like, nah, like you're still on probation. Like if you go, you're, you're gone forever. I was like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> I was Dang. like, cool, I'm gone. That's know? a crazy jump. Yeah, I just, I just knew it. You know, at that point I was like, all right, I get this opportunity. I'm not going back, you know. So I got the opportunity and then I took the short notice fight because I didn't get the contract. But, you know, I got in the UFC, so. Yeah. How yeah, scary though out. was that feeling leaving your job knowing you can't go back? Did that home, fire like, you up a little bit more to like go into the contender mm-hmm. fight? Yes and no, because I've done it before. I, I worked at Amazon and I went to go train in uh, Albuquerque and then they did the same thing. They didn't let me take a leave. So Dang. I ended up leaving. So I already was like familiar with the situation. But, you know, it's like just something in my heart just told me like I knew I was going to make it. You know, like I just had full faith and this was just, it just gave me confidence. I was like, I'm out, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. Is there like a person that still to this day will laugh because they've said no to you? Like a t- an, a, a, I told you so guy? Yeah. Maybe one of those UPS managers. You go, hey, look at me now. <laughs> I have a teacher. You have a teacher? A teacher, yeah. Oh. oh. It was a high school teacher. I don't remember his name. Dang. I was trying to remember his name. I need to find my yearbook so I can figure it out. He was like a government teacher or an econ teacher. Okay. And I did like... I, I I didn't pass one of these tests, or I did like a half ass a test, and he like call calls my mom. He's like, "Yeah, he he could do so much better, but he doesn't apply himself." Blah blah. 
And he told him, like, oh, you want to fight? I was like, yeah, bro, I want to fight. He was like, oh, you want to fight? He was like, you know, your career was this and that, and you're not going to make it doing that, blah, blah. Like, you need to be thinking about something else. I was like, oh, okay, for sure. Yeah. And, like, I just wish, like, I could remember, like, I just got to go back to the high school and just see if yeah. he's still there. You, know you should just I mean? go back and choke pay his him, ass out. Pay him nah, 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 nah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> he's probably retired. Right <laughs> no, now, I know. I know. <laughs> Invite him out to the fight. <laughs> oh, Poor guy, cool, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that's man. wild though that's yeah. crazy yeah, would you so, say that's that like part of it fueled you though yeah just like, added to the where fuel you tank? are uh, there was, there was a lot of stuff that fueled me you know what i mean like when i first started i was um i had a girlfriend at the time we had like a crazy relationship that ended right but she didn't believe in me that so that ended wow. before i started fighting you know Dang. and that was that was my biggest motivator was that you know it was crazy because i always i only told like a couple people about this like Publicly, like on a podcast or anything, the day I went to go de deactivate my Facebook, um, the first thing I, po I looked up, I, I seen when I when I opened my the app was a, a fight team trial, an ad for a fight team trial at this local gym that I was already I was already passing by every day. Yeah, and I was like, dang, wow. if that's not a sign from God, I don't know what is. And I went to the fight team trial. That's nuts. Yep. That's crazy. Or if Zuckerberg is just tracking you or something. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> your algorithm. <laughs> no, so, give it to God. Now that I think about it, you know, <laughs> yeah. they probably heard some conversations and, you know, like put, you know, the algorithm. For sure <laughs> listening <laughs> to us. That's crazy. But yeah, you, you putting that like negative energy, turning it into a full positive energy into like your career, it's, it's, it's big. You can do that with a lot of things. I have experience doing it as well. I had the same situation, bro. Heck I yeah. sell cars now. I used to play professional soccer, though. Word. So I played, I was an athlete, but same situation. You got to turn that negative energy into like a positive and you got to make it something good because a lot of people need to realize that. Yeah, that's a big sure. thing. And girls are good motivators for sure. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you have a girlfriend now? You have a girlfriend? You have a girlfriend now? No, no girlfriend. You're single? Single. Single Dang, dad. Single dad, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's fire. Bro, if I, I mean, all the ladies out there, you see Jalen walking the dog on the... On the beach or or sparring or something, you gotta yeah, hit raise them up. a family, protect the family. Yeah. He's got it Ring all. Ring girls man. like shout out, <laughs> Jayla. Oh, chill. No. <laughs> nah, man. When shit. you were oh, when fun. you were like during those contender fights, was Dana there watching and all those yeah. guys? Yeah. So was that kind of when did Dana kind of realize? Okay, wow, we've got a big talent here. When was that? After I fought Brad. Okay. <laughs> it took that long. Dang. So after I fought Brad, um, I ended up face like he FaceTimed me like right after the fight. Oh, Dana did? Yeah. yeah. He's like, yo, like he was like, that was an amazing performance. It's like it was cool. Like he like he showed me a lot of respect. And it's funny because I actually seen him before the fight. I seen yeah. him at a oh, I forgot which hotel I was at. Um, he's, he's gambling or what? No, nah, he was just walking in, just cruising uh -huh. through. And I had just got done like running. I was cutting weights. So I was all in the hotel with my shirt off, you know, sweating. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, is this a bad look? And I was like, <laughs> I went up to him, like, you know, shook his hand, like, you know, just gave him a couple of greetings. And I told him, like, you know, I'm going to get it done. Yeah. I'm going to get it done uh, this weekend. And yeah, he ended up remembered, FaceTime me, and it was it was cool. So you That's gave sick. him your number there, because when the when when you got a random FaceTime, did it say Dana White on your phone? Um, I had I'd already had his number, but okay. he had FaceTime. He had FaceTime though, an employee. And, okay. Yeah, oh, that's and, super cool. Yeah, okay, cool. And, and they showed me like, yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask too, is Dana White privilege a real thing? Yeah. 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 For <laughs> sure. Do you feel like you're on the good side or the bad side? Okay. Of wait. That at the before moment? we get into that, like, what is that? Da what the, is that? Dana. Well, that's what like I hear a lot of people say. Dana White privilege is when he favors a fighter. They get that because Dana likes them. They get a little more privilege. Mm. They get more opportunities. Pretty self-explanatory. Like yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I, just, I mean, but that's, you can look that's, it up. I no, I'm kidding. That's, like with, that's with any any good investment or business aspect. You know what I mean? Like. People that are, are more of a draw are going to get more attention. For sure. Regardless, for sure. you know, and it is what it is, you know. Would you say you're on his good side? I would hope I'm not on his bad side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For he probably, sure. He likes the shit talk, I'm sure, because that's what sells, right? Well, yeah, but anything that sells tickets, you know, but, you know, there's so many bad guys in the game. We need a good guy. So. Yeah, for sure. And there are good guys that sell. Yeah. Alex Perry don't say shit and I'll buy his fight. That's, yeah, that's he's scary. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So for an, an average UFC like watcher doesn't really know how like in in depth the sport is and how high competition that the UFC itself is how hard from experience would you say breaking that top 10 in your weight division is oh man top like, 10 was crazy yeah just top 10 was crazy it's it's a whole new ball game you know you what i mean still like, got more to go through right there yeah for sure you're looking top five now yeah because like 
I fought Gamrot, and he was supposed to be one of the top grapplers in the division. And that was a big test for me, you know? So that let me know where my grappling stands. And then I just fought Dan. He's been in the top for for years, you know? Like, he's fought he's fought the who's who's. Yeah, he's that checkmark fighter that it's like, oh, it's like Robbie Lawler in his division. Like, once yeah. people get past Robbie Lawler, they're like, okay, it's for, yeah, for sure. For sure. So, you know, it's like those, those two fights alone. And then there were still, like, controversial decisions, whatever, who cares? Like... Yeah, I, I feel I feel like I, I I showed who I am and where I stand in the division, you know. One hundred percent. How yeah. many fighters are in the division? I oh yeah, that's know, a, bro. how many are total? Yeah, that is interesting. Because you're not far off. There's a lot you're of like one weights. position away. Or two. I think I'm I'm eleven right now. Yeah, eleven. Yeah. So who in the top five do you think you could take out right now? Who's in the top five? I don't even remember. In lightweight, well, obviously Islam, Charles. Is du Dustin's top five probably Dustin, right? Justin. Michael, maybe. Michael. I know Gaethje's up there. I, I think they all Oliver. be fun fights. Yeah, they all be fun fights for sure. Um, bro, I I, in my mindset is I beat everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's a good mindset to have. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna fight everybody. I'll yeah. beat everybody. So, 100%. what 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 do you think you are right now? Like fighting wise, do you think you're in your peak right now, or where where do you think you find yourself maxing your peak? I think I'm still finding myself. I think I'll probably peak by the time I hit 30, 31. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll be champion by then. So. Yes, sir. When where, do you think that title shot's here, coming? Uh, I think by I think by 29 or 30, I, yeah. I'll get that. I'll get the shot. You know, because I, I, I sat and thought about it the other day. Um, Gamrot fought for Ziv and, you know, controversial loss or, or win on his end for Gamrot. But um, he ended up being a replacement fighter, like a backup fighter. I was like, Dang, so I'm a couple wins away from possibly being in title contention. So, yeah. you know, I kind of like put it into real realistic terms. You know, I win win two more fights, two more spectacular finishes. Yes, sir. And I'm right there knocking on the door. You know, so they need you know they need to get new blood, new like new people in the mix anyway. One hundred percent. Yeah. Do you believe in manifesting things too? I manifested my whole career and life. <laughs> yes, sir. I remember being in high school, just daydreaming about like. Or just random things, and then fast forward, I'm in those moments. I'm like, I daydreamed this before in high school. This is crazy. Has it hit That's you yet, crazy. too, kind of, or does it still like feel weird? Just everything going on. Yeah, uh, it's it's hit me. You know, um, it's been intense, like going through everything. I still get, I still get those uh, those moments where I need to manifest even bigger. You know, yeah. it's like it's like all right, like I get comfortable, like I, yeah. I've made it this far, but then like you gotta just set the bar higher so you you know you can reach a new level in life. Yeah, because I think that's that's probably the worst place to be. I fear that just the comfortable. When you're when you're super comfortable and just chilling, I hate that. I want <laughs> you gotta that, that holds people back, dude. It's crazy, you know, right, Zach? No, no, I'm kidding. What are some what are what are some Damn. things that the UFC is gonna start incorporating or doing for like 2024? Have they had a meeting with you guys yet for like year end? Like maybe what you're allowed to wear, what hairstyles, like what 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 are the kind of rules you guys are allowed to do, you know? Nah, they don't they don't, they don't care. Yeah, they don't really have meetings on anything okay. like that. Like they'll probably like send me an email or something if okay. something changes. Yeah. But it's usually just, you know, everything's so laid back. Like they just let you do what you want, like, you know, be who you are and like I respect it, you know. Hey guys, yes, I'm on a private jet. And none of this would be possible without our sponsor, Zill Media. If you need any social media or any content done or even start a podcast like ours, they are the best in the business. Go to zillmedia.com and mention Basement Talk for a discount on their services. Now let's get back to the episode. But uh, let's get off this fake jet. <laughs> Go get back to the episode. What do you think the most like hyped arena is in the UFC or that you fought in? Most height? Yeah, like just you know you're going in there and it's fucking crazy. Maybe what the was like the loud? What was the loudest arena yeah, you've ever like, fought in? I know you fought in Dubai. No, nah, I didn't fight in Dubai. Oh, you didn't? Or no, I trained train in yeah, Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, Australia. When Australia. I fought in Melbourne, that was that was wild. That was the most lit. Like it was crazy. Dang. I uh, I fought one of their boys. Uh, I fought Callum Potter, and like they booed me when I was walking out, and then they ended up um. 
cheering me like crazy after I Dang. won. Like it was it was so wild. Like that was an intense like situation. So it was cool. Are you scared like walking around there, like knowing you're fighting a local guy like before the fight and stuff? Are people ragging on you? Nah, nobody. No, nah, it's nah, not like that. No, nah, it was chill. How deep do you guys roll out there? Like what how big is your team? Bro, I'm, I got the smallest circle in the oh, game. Oh, for real? Yeah. It's, it's probably me better and my coaches. Though, huh? That's it, yeah. I'm sure keeping yeah. your circle a little smaller. I know that training camp stuff can get pretty sketchy too. People kind of leaking information out of your camp. Yeah. Have you had any experiences like that? No, but I've been uh, accused of that. Oh, that really? BS, yeah. <laughs> Dang, what was that? Oh, man. Um, I was helping Tony Ferguson a long time ago when he was going to oh, fight Michael Chiesa. Oh, Tony. No, nah, no shout out. No, no shout you don't out. like him. Oh, Tony. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. Okay. Get out yeah, of here, dude, man. Dude, fuck no. you, Kyle. Oh, fuck, yeah. dude. Hey, if he wants to get rid of him, man. Nah, he, called, he, called me, <laughs> he called me a, a, a spy. He said I was a spy in his camp because Kiesa ended up pulling out, and then I had trained at Jackson Wink, so Landon Venata uh, had stepped in on short notice. Okay. And he was like, yeah, I had Jackson Wink spies in my camp. I was like, bro, I was like, I don't care about none of that you got going on. Like, I wasn't even in the UFC at the time. Like, I was, I don't even think I was a pro at the time, you know? Oh, I was like, bro, I don't care. Uh, yeah, but yeah, like that, that. Was, that was something. What do you think about Tony's career right now? I mean, dude, that guy's, he's been on a streak. <laughs> he hey. says he doesn't want to retire. I mean. I think he uh, needs to. But How like, old is he? I feel like Dana's just going to keep throwing these young guys at him until he leaves. I feel like <laughs> they just threw him at Patty, dude. Like, <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're fighting. Huh? Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. What about it's Nate Diaz, like doing all this YouTube boxing stuff? Make the money. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Do you see yourself doing that after your UFC career at all? Uh, I don't think UFC fighters look for I like they, that's not like yeah, a thing no, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go into YouTube. But boxing. I mean, it's an op. <laughs> I don't think that it's like a thing, and it might be looked down upon. But now yeah. it's a definite option. Like it's a realistic it's option. I money. feel like for retired UFC fighters, maybe uh, not on a respect level, but a money level for sure. Uh, I don't know. I don't see myself doing it. Yeah, you don't like it. I mean, uh, I don't got anything against him, but I don't see myself doing it. Yeah, you know, like if it happens, it happens. Like I'm not, I'm not saying no, but it's not like oh, I'm looking forward to fighting so and so or yeah, you know, like I don't care. It's not you know, I'd rather fight a, like a legit boxer if that's gonna if that's gonna go how it's gonna go down. I'll fight a legit boxer, not some like YouTuber. Or yeah, influence. Make it a real fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would yeah. you say le- Jake Paul's a legit boxer though? I mean, he's earning his way, but I wouldn't completely say it yet. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. think you could take him? Uh, I don't know. He beat Silva. He beat Anderson. So that that is crazy. So I don't know. That that gives me. A he beat bit an old Anderson. Though. That is true. That is true. But he's still the spider. Dude. I mean, I, I don't. He's know He's a tarantula. Yeah, dude. He's a, yeah. He beat the, the spider. Tarantulas are bigger than spiders. I fucking hate I mean. spiders, by the way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you overcame that fear, but I'm not fucking with spiders. See, now. if I knew that, I would have brought one. Yeah, you should have. No, dude. No, no. You should have. I would have brought dude. one for sure. I Fucking hate spiders. Dude, don't, dude, don't. He's like actually serious about spiders. Like he'll fuck you up right now. Oh, yeah. fuck. Talk shit on Spider Man on your ass, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm not joking. No, but like, <laughs> seriously, those like, like that's the shit. one fucking thing, dude. They can be in your room and just bite you at all times. Like, bro, that's any animal though. No, well, there's don't. not fucking lions in your room. Okay, there's dude, spiders, no, not man. Like that. I'm saying any animal can bite you like that. Wait, so you were originally afraid of spiders, right? Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get over that fear? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Dude. Fuck you. Dude. We should have brought a spider, bro. Yeah, no. yeah we should have made that. Wait, you just we have them made... on deck like that? You just pull spiders out? Uh, yeah, they're, they're at home. How many do you have? Ten. Damn. Do you want more? Nah, I'm chilling. Do they have babies? Yeah, are you breeding them? Nah, not anymore. That'd be cool. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> could, they, could they sell for good money? <laughs> no way. How much is a fucking tarantula? Uh, it, it depends on the species. Some some babies go for like, you know, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. Damn. Yeah. Hey, there's like conventions and stuff for that type yeah. of stuff, right? Yeah. You go to those? Yeah, I've been. Yeah, that's yeah. fire. What do they eat? They'll eat you. No. <laughs> now you have to tell them that. Shut the fuck right. yeah. you up, bro. No, fuck that, dude. dude. If I fucking walk in here tomorrow, there's like a tarantula. We're going to Jalen's house, dude. We're going to tie your ass No, up. we're all going to go to the tarantula convention. <laughs> Keep <laughs> me the fuck away from there, dude. I'm not going oh there, dude. So, fuck <laughs> that. Were, were you into tarantulas before you got into fighting and stuff? Or was yeah. it kind of like, yeah? Yeah, so that's how I ended up getting the nickname. I kind of like hinted at the gym. And then, you know, Anderson Silva was one of my favorites, so... I was like, oh, the tranche would be a cool spot. Yeah. 
Oh, that's super cool. You and like it, skateboarding too. Oh, yeah, yeah, skateboarding. That was my first passion for sure. Really? Why'd, yeah. you, what, why'd you get out of it? <laughs> Just Girlfriend. Riding? Oh, girlfriend. Oh, dude, yeah. who is this girl? Yeah, yeah this girl. dude. No like, names will be nah, said. No, don't say but her what's name. Crazy but that's is terrible, She dude. broke Jalen's heart. Now he's number 11 in UFC right now. <laughs> no, nah, he's going to be the champ. He's up. <laughs> yeah, she's broke. He's up. I'm Let's broke. Go. She up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. That's crazy, though, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about her at this point. I don't know. No, that's good. Yeah, that's we wish her all the best. Be. But I was like 16, 17. Oh, like that's that. perfect. She with Tony. Who's your right favorite now? skater growing up? Bro, I got a long list. You you watch Robin Big growing up? All those yeah, shows? For sure. Yeah. Duh. I was just watching Fantasy Factory the other day. It was nostalgic. Chris Cole, Nick Tucker, Nigel Houston. Yup. Oh, dude, I met P-Rod the other day. That was no lit. No way. Yeah, Dang. that was lit. I'm not going to lie. My inner child came out. Yeah. Where'd you oh, see him? Like, oh, my gosh. Uh, he was at Iapono. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I was tripping. I was like, yo, I was like, I was like, damn, like, is, is he here right now? Like, yo, <laughs> You're like double like, taking him? Yeah, I had, to, I had to get a picture. Oh, me. that's yeah. awesome. I bet you've been, but have you you've been to Etnies? No. Before? Really? Oh, really? Kobe used to skate. Dude, I used to skate every yeah. day. And I used to go like there. that Word. famous skate park around here. I haven't skated oh, in years, been. but yeah, it's super oh, cool. Wow. We should go. <laughs> I yeah, probably break my arm, but Nigel Houston's down. actually local too. Dude, he I haven't skated in, in like Dude, I seen him at a I seen him at where where Chevron was. I forgot. I forgot what street was on. Yeah, I seen him at Chevron like like a couple years back. I was like, what? I was like, Nigel Houston, bro. Yeah, yeah. Did you say yeah, what's I up? went to high school nah, with his I was sister. Just driving by. <gasps> yeah, yeah. yeah. I went to high school with his sister and she would pull up to school and then I ate every day. I'd be like, Wow. Man, R8. I ate BMW. Oh, the I ate? Yeah. Oh, crazy. Damn. Crazy. What's your dream car, Jalen? It's it's changed so many times over the years. Um, it used to be GTR. Um, and then right now, I, I want a Cullinan. That's probably like my dream. Yeah. Ooh, that car is that's, sick. Yeah, Dana, that's, throw my boy that 50 G's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I'm going to need a lot more than that. Well, that's yeah, the fight, dude. Oh, that's like okay. a I was like, quote. dude, just buy him the car, bro. <laughs> yeah, For real. That, yeah. that guy's rolling around yeah. like five, dude, at a time. You get triple sevens at the blackjack table, get Jalen a new whip. Yeah. You, feel you never know, dude. Yeah. Cullinan that's is nice. That's though. a nice car. Yeah. He's going to have to get it after the title. Oh, for sure. So before, long yeah, let's before. say you let's say you you win the title, you got your colon in, and you have a nice girl that you like. Where are you taking her on a date? Like, what's your what's your what's what's Jalen's date spot? <laughs> where's the champ? Eating? Yeah, where's the champ eating at? <laughs> um, dang, I don't know. Dang, I don't know. It depends on how much it like. I don't know. You're Maybe the champ, Mastros. dude. Maybe Mastros. 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 That's simple. a great choice. Plain and simple. Oh, we're going to have a picnic at the beach. Okay. Oh, yeah. Something simple. Sentimental. I'm simple, bro. That's like, good. I'm Bring the spiders. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I told you, don't fuck with them with the spiders. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude. You'll like. You no, fight, you'll dude? actually get. Should we actually, fight on the pot right now? No, dude. We can like, fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, After this guy, that, yeah. he's been in two Muay Thai classes. He thinks he's the guy. Yeah, yeah dude, he's been done with this guy. He sparred up. twice, dude. He thinks he can take Jalen. That yeah. shit is crazy, just sit though. down, homie. Yeah, I did, I did just get into it. I, I've been, uh, yeah, I think fight. I could fight now, but yeah, I know I'll get my ass kicked. That's for sure. <laughs> Probably get your ass kicked by a spider. <laughs> dude, what, should my, what should my middle name be for Kyler, your the middle tarantula name, killer, Isaolu? Spider squasher, spider no, squasher. Because he's, no. he's afraid of spiders. <laughs> Kobe, the fat ass. He saw, no. No, what? Oh, whoa, he's going in over here. No, 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 no. We can. Yo, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. I gotta chill. I gotta chill. I'm gonna get whooped over here. <laughs> Is it hard oh. getting girls with like your spider passion? You ever bring a chick back and they're like, "Yo, what the fuck." Oh man, you know, I used to think it would be my mom used to be like, How are you gonna get a girlfriend all these spiders? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not, doesn't bug them, not at all. They get interested, like, Where do you keep them? Where are they? And then they forgot, Oh, and damn, spider what about, might be a pole. Yeah, it, yeah. it, it kind of is, you know, it's like one of those taboo things. They're like, You really have, you know what I mean? And then that's kind of like, I'm the tarantula, like, Yeah, come, <laughs> come check them out. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do your kids like them? Yeah. That's yep. cool. Yeah, they hold them too. Has, any, awesome. has any of them ever escaped and you lost one? Yeah, but I always <laughs> find them. Oh, okay, good, good. There's <laughs> Loki just like a massive tarantula living in your backyard just growing out of the Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, Those fuck. things like will crawl around everywhere. I yeah. bet they're all over the house. 
So I, I had bred some years back when I was staying with my mom still. And I had a bunch of babies get out, maybe like 50 babies and like all over the house. And she was like, Damn. I'm killing them. She was like, I see them, I'm killing them. I was like, all right, like, I'm sorry. Dang. Yeah, I'd probably was, do the same, honestly. I'd be so scared. Damn. I'd be like, what? Yeah, we had a couple of friends who would breed geckos. Those yeah. sell for a lot, which is crazy. I think yeah. They go to like conventions like, and stuff like that. What Gecko about conventions. like, <laughs> how close does your mom live? An hour away. An hour away. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. How often do you see her? Um, I usually go out there like once a week now. That's like, cool. She, uh, I was out there. I was hanging out with her earlier today. Nice. Yeah. She lives in England, so I moved out here. I moved out to Orange County. I'm an Orange County boy. Yeah, what do you think of Orange <laughs> County? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I've been training out here for years, you know. I've been, I was training at Ruka for a long time. I've been coming out here for like seven years. So I was just like, you know what? I'm over the drive. I can afford it now. Like, let me move. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think, crazy. I think Orange County is the best place on earth. But again, I have not traveled a lot of places. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. What? <laughs> Got to get out there. <laughs> hard to be, it's hard <laughs> to be so cal in general, though. To be yeah, honest. just weather and everything. Oh, yeah. Man. What's the What's the future look like for you, though, Jalen? What's What's next right now? Is there? Do you have a fight lined up right now, too? Nah, nothing yet. I'm uh, shooting for January. Hopefully, I get January. January. Who are you um, thinking for January? Whoever. Yeah. Honestly, like I don't care. Bring him his way. He's ready. Who's Dude, number ten right now? Um, I don't know. Cause yeah. you're in the eleven spot, right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's I ten, I think Dan's nah. ten, maybe. No, nah, yeah. I think Dang. Dan's ten or nine. I don't know. Maybe he's ten. He won by decision on that, right? Yeah. That was a crazy. He won fight. by decision. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know how, dude. Like that leg kick was fucked. Oh my god! Oh, Didn't you crazy. break his face? Yeah. Dude, yeah. oh my you, dude, god! Dude, we, we were watching the video. You crack. You can hear the crack, dude. You're like, oh my god! I know. Were it's you shocked? Insane. Yeah, I what's was, that like? With like the feeling of like breaking somebody's face. You're like, damn, you're still alive. Like, I didn't know his face was broken. At oh, the in time, the moment you didn't. I was like, yo, how are you still here? Like, how are you still conscious? Like, he wasn't even like really rocked. Like, he like I, I, I kind of went forward and then he grabbed me. I was like, yo, how is he grabbing me? And I thought he was gonna be like. Just done. So I started teeing off on him, and yeah. he was still in the fight. I was like, "Yo, this is nuts, bro." Is that just like annoying at that point? You're just like a little gas. You're like, "Dude, just drop." Like, <laughs> yes and no. It's like you you kind of like mentally prepare for it, and then like you know, it's, still, it's like a fight. Like your adrenaline is just like rushing. You don't really think about it. It's kind of in the zone. Yeah. There, there's no moment where you're like, "Damn, I'm really fucking him up right now." You're like <laughs> looking at his face, like maybe I should stop. Like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you see blood like that on someone too, does that make you want to just fuck them up more like they're you see they're weaker or no <laughs> yeah. i feel like if i was that's fighting like and, I, and i dry, <laughs> draw like... some blood i'm like okay i'm gonna fucking go harder <laughs> yeah i don't know if that's, like... i don't know if that's weird but that's how I... he's like yeah it's weird yeah, so... it, no, it brings up the intensity for it sure does, right yeah. yeah when i when i first opened it, i was like oh i was like that's yeah crazy. Start smiling. The first elbow <laughs> i was like oh dang he's leaking i was like that's cool that's what, that's I like what Michael I, Myers, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Friday the 13th, he's ready to go. It's like a trigger. It's like attack. It's like a, like a shark. You smell blood in the water. Yeah. yeah. When, you're, when you're in that moment, do you hear the fans chirping shit at you? Or no. it's, so, it's so blocked out. It's so blocked out. When I fought Dan, it was blocked out. No, when I fought Gamrot, that was the first time I ever fought where I could hear everything. Really? Yeah. It was, it was so weird. It was like, even when I fought the Apex, like you could hear everybody, but... You still tone it out. But when I fuck, I heard Connor McGregor screaming at me. Dang. I heard my coaches. I heard his coaches. I heard the crowd. I heard so much. Like it was like I was. I honestly wanted to like shut everything out, and I could not shut anything out. It was. It was crazy. Was it distracting in the moment? Oh, yeah. yeah, super distracting. But like, I I don't know how to explain it. I uh, I don't know. Like I I don't know how to explain it. I was uh I was conscious of everything, you know. Yeah. And like you usually kind of would be on autopilot, like kind of block out the moment yeah, a little. And yeah. I, I didn't get to that zone. So it was it was interesting. It was yeah. interesting to like fight under those conditions. Never never done it before. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you control the like? Because whenever I get into an altercation, which I've never gone in a fight, which is funny, <laughs> I get like an adrenaline just dump. You've never gotten into a fight. No. That, he's, that he's, surprises me, to be honest. He's never really? been in, like, a one-on-one -on -one Is it because I'm saying it's just it's yeah. stupid Yeah, action. right? <laughs> he talks yeah. way too much for a person who's never been in a fight, I swear. Hey, maybe they're scared, dude. Yeah, maybe they're scared, <laughs> no, he says. No, no. But 
I'm just curious because how do you control the like the adrenaline even before the fight? Do you do anything to? Well, I'm sure fighting and training every day. You're just. But still, the crowd and like everything yeah. before. How do you control that? Right? You don't. You don't. You just. It's intense. It, you, you feel it every single time. It sometimes aren't as intense as others. And it's just like, you just get used to it, you know? Just it's adapt like, to the moment, I'm sure. Yeah, it's like, like you just, you just know. It's like, jump, it's like people that skydive. You know, as soon as you jump off the plane, like, you're going to just float and just do whatever the hell you got to do until you get to the ground. Same yeah. thing with a fight. Like, it's like, as soon as you walk in, as soon as that bell rings, as soon as you guys touch gloves, it's like time to go. And then... Just get you, the job done. Yeah, and get the job done, and it's over. It's 15 minutes, but does it feel like shorter, too? Yeah, or? It, it feels like, it feels like, like a blink. Really? Yeah, it really does. Dang. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't remember much of the Dan fight to be honest. I remember like a couple of moments, but I don't remember anything. It's all like, just like slow. quick, like that. Yeah, like I can't remember. Like, uh, like I, I can't even tell you I've had a, a fight where I can remember the entire fight. They're like, there's not. That's not a moment. Yeah, that's super crazy. Going back to that Dan fight, I obviously you didn't get the decision, which is a super bummer. But the reception you got from that fight and the validation just from other fighters, because I know there was a lot of people saying, "Oh, Jalen won that for sure," and uh, everybody was talking about that fight, just how crazy it was. What was that like for you? You know, it was cool because like, even though I did take an L on on paper, you yeah. know, it's like. I still didn't like look like my stock didn't drop, you know. Yeah, one hundred percent. I still got a lot of love, respect, and notoriety. So, you know, like that's you, I just take that as my win. You know what I mean? Like I took less damage. My like my health was in better condition. Yeah. Like, I feel like it raised your job. stock too. It shows that you can go the distance. Yeah, and it shows you want to throw, right? Yeah, 100%. that's what they they, they like that shit. Dana yeah. loves that. I bet. No, and a lot of a lot of the high level UFC guys right now want to be on the ground the whole time too. So, yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I mean, that's why I fought Gamera. You yeah. know, I wanted to see how I could hang with that 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 style of a uh, of a fight. You know, so I found yeah. out. Showed what you could do. Have you talked to him since? No. For what? Yeah, fuck him. No, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you like check on his face or who then? Yeah. I I had me- actually I messaged him like right after the fight. Because I replied. saw you guys like take a photo yeah. together after the fight. Yeah. He's all Hollywood, huh? Nah, I just, I don't know. Uh, I just think he uh, just didn't get to it. I, I need to go check to see if he read it or not. Yeah. I'm going to go yeah. check right now. Check yeah, it right check now. it. Check yeah. it. Yeah, let's yeah. see. It's I interesting. See, I remember dude. the first fist fight I got into, though. I felt so bad. I don't know if you remember, Kyler. I fought, I fought this one kid. We were like freshmen. Actually, I punched you, Zach, we, once. Yeah, you punched me once, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole story. I let, him, I let him have it, too. I didn't know that. that. Jeez. That was a crazy story. But what? The, <laughs> one of the first fights I ever got into, we were at this party, and I this kid was drunk. We were talking shit to each other the whole time. I ended up popping him, got him good. All my homies were like, yeah, whatever. I wake up the next day. Kyler's like, yo, you want to hang out i was like yeah i well, i don't know if you remember but i walk over to your house and it's you our friend jt and the kid that i beat up the night before all sitting <laughs> in your basement and i was oh, like yeah, I yo what the hell and the kid walks up to me and he's like yo bro like i was drunk i'm sorry whatever and we ended up being damn. friends it was crazy no? he, yeah he hasn't read it oh dang yeah. he's so hey, cool damn, you're what? ducking man. yeah come on don't duck our boy that was a good fight dan ducker that's for sure. Dan the Ducker he's still, Hooker. He's still he's still mad about his face. <laughs> nah, that's all love. No, it's, it's all, all love. love. It's all love. Were you showing respect though, or was yeah, it like all respect? Yeah. All right. I just like wish him like a speedy recovery. And you have to and respect like, somebody after a fight like that. I feel like. Yeah, you have. No, you don't have to. No, you don't have to. You can, you know. It's, it's, yeah, it's good. It's good for the soul, you know. Yeah, I guess. No I, hatred or regret. Yeah, I ain't got no disrespect for him. Dan has been cool, you know. Like I, I like I like a uh, city kickboxing as a whole. Like they, they've been doing a lot of good for the sport, you know, over the years. Like I've watched them, so it's cool. It's cool to see, you know. It's like it was an honor to compete against him, you know. What I mean, at the end of the day. So what location was that in? Uh, T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. Okay, that's true. How? All my all my fights been there. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think I've only f- I've, I haven't fought there. Three times, and the rest have been nah. I didn't fight there. Dang, I fought there like four times, five times now. Hey, that's crazy. Yeah. What's post fight like in Vegas? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a long pause. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stories that just yeah, popped in yeah. his head. <laughs> okay, so so before I got back on on a good path, it was going out drinking and partying. Yeah. Now it's like I don't care. Yeah. But. 
I did have some crazy nights of excess after the fights. <laughs> there there we go. Yeah. You see lit. Connor there? And all nah, those guys? I see Nate there. Me and Nate, uh, me and Nate kicked it. It was cool. Yeah. Um, rolled up with Nate. Yeah, I was yeah. lit. Bro. I got, I got super drunk. I don't drink anymore. I haven't drank for a year. Dang! Nice. Congrats. Thank you. Is Nate Diaz get like wild? Nah, yeah, nah. He was he's crazy. a smoker. Yeah, it was chill. Okay. What's like? The, I bet the girls are like freaking out to see you guys roll in there. Yeah. Yes and no. Honestly, home. look. Look, being a fighter is like, dude, nah, bro. Being a, I'm a, don't I'm a, cap, bro. I'm be, honest. be real, we be, be real, real bro. I'm be honest, bro. All right, be honest. Being a fighter is like, uh, it's like, uh, how do I explain it? It's like, like one of those like supercars. You're gonna attract more guys first before you attract girls. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Like, yeah. That okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that's that's how it goes. That's good. I, that's a good. That's analogy. true because you do buy supercars thinking you're gonna get the chicks, and it's just a bunch of dudes like, "Yo, nice car." Yeah, yeah. we had a guest yeah. say that once. Yeah, right here. I feel. Yeah, yeah. Who said I, it? I, I can't remember, but someone said that to us before. It's a bunch that's of Kylers true. walking up to you after the fight. Shut the fuck. <laughs> Can you show my shirt? With Hasbula shirts, dude. Go where the bitches. <laughs> shut up, dude. Send my Hasbula to you. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yo, why is he laughing so hard at that, dude? Because <laughs> that's you, bro. He thinks you're. A clown, I can dude. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh man, what? what? <laughs> oh shoot. Who's who's like okay, non UFC? Who are some of like your favorite athletes? Like inspirational or like athletic? Who are some of the guys that come and pop up in your head? Yeah, look up to their like work ethic or something like that. Oh man, I don't know. I honestly I can't even think. I can't even think of any. You watch any other sports? Not really. No. No. Like, you know, everybody's gonna say Kobe. You yeah. Know? Um bro, I can't think of nobody, to be honest. Uh sure. Jalen Turner. Yeah. No. You know, what I, mean? <laughs> I inspire myself. You yes, know? sir. I was gonna say Rajon Rondo, but that's like this guy. Rajon Rondo. This guy just name drops Rajon Rondo randomly. He thinks he's <laughs> dude, a go to basketball. Man. Jesus. What, dude? What about in the UFC? Who are like some of your favorites or inspirations? Maybe when you were young. Said Silva, right? When I was young, it was Silva, Jones. Uh, who else is in the UFC? I always looked up the Cowboy. Uh, Carlos Condit. Actually, dang, I always, I always forget to give that man so much respect, bro, because he's the reason why I went out to Jackson's, you know? So... I respect Carlos a lot. Like he he opened up a big door for me. Super cool. Yeah, and dang, I got to give that man more respect. You know, a shout out. Um, who Tell else? us a little bit of a little bit more about that Jacksons. Oh shoot, Jackson. Yeah, yeah it's a little clothing brand. You know, I'm Ooh. representing. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. <laughs> nice and comfortable. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> Whose brand is it? Um, shoot, uh, my buddy Bear is doing a lot of the promotions and and. And running it right now, Super as far cool. as I know. So yeah, hey, I know they spo- a- they sponsor uh, Rampage's pod as well, right? Yeah, Super cool. Yeah. Bro, you awesome. gotta tell them to get us some hats. Yeah, throw th- throw some. Make it happen. That'd be sick. Say the word. Dude. That'd be sick. What yeah. martial art are you training the most these days, too? Um, wrestling and striking. That's it. Nothing. I tried to do jujitsu the other day. I wasn't feeling it no more. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm kind of going the Sean Strickland route. Like, eh, I don't need stay to stay off the right ground. Now. Yeah, you know it, but don't use scramble. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get up, you know, because um, the submissions are always going to open up when people try to like scramble and, and get out of the way and stuff. So uh, I'm a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, so I already know like yeah, the, the submissions basics. aren't bad. Like they're decent. So I don't know. I'll just stick to the wrestling for now. Derek Lewis claims that jiu-jitsu isn't real. I don't know if you've seen that. Wait, you what? Seen that? You haven't seen that? It's like what does a, that mean? It's like a tweet. Derek Lewis says uh, jujitsu isn't real, and then it's a collage of him just standing up mid like he's he's like in, somebody's in full guard on top of him, and he just stands up like breaks the guard right out of it. It's crazy. As as a heavyweight, as yeah, I, I can see that for him. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, We're, but like a Charles Oliveira. No, nah, you're screwed. Just, yeah. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see that fight. That got all switched up. Which yeah, sucks. yeah. What do you think about that? Man, it's probably gonna be out and done by the time this pod posted. But yeah, I I think that's crazy. Um, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't what know. did he get yeah. hurt? What hurt? He, he cut his. Yeah, he, he got a big cut. He just got a cut. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was a pretty deep. It was deep. 
Yeah, it was pretty deep. I heard they were trying to like switch uh, it, and then apparently Charles's team leaked the information. Dana got super pissed about it too. I heard, but yeah. everybody wanted to see Alex and Islam go at it again. Who do you think won the first one? Putting you on the hot I think seat. Alex, I think Alex won the first one, but I can see them giving it to to Islam because yeah. it was so close. You it was know? so it, close. It, it, it depends on how you how you really score the control and the and the aggression. Mm. You know, so. Whoever is like, because they both had their moments where they're pushing forward, but like, Islam did get a little bit more control in certain on like, the ground exchanges. Yeah. yeah, so you know they they scored that in his favor. And I, uh, you know, I respect the decision. Like, I don't think it was a robbery. You know, it's yeah, like, it's like it's one of those things. Like when you see somebody dominate so long, and then they actually get challenged and tested, see it's some like, adversity, then yeah. it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, oh, he lost. You know, it's like uh, gets blown really up more than if it was a they have seen adversity and it's just another fight type of thing. Yeah. Who do you have winning the second one? You have a favorite? I, I just wish Volk had a camp. Yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. he didn't. No, I didn't know that. That's crazy. This is about to be uh yeah. He's was coming like in like two, two weeks, weeks right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Two weeks short notice. I saw Islam tweeted. He's like, he's like, thanks for coming short notice, but don't use it as an excuse. Type I know. Of thing. Hey, that's kind yeah. of gangster. That you yeah. Said that. No, 100, <laughs> I mean, what would you do in Islam's position? Everybody knows anybody who takes it late notice is going to like use that as an excuse if they have any fault in the fight. So yeah, yeah it's what, pretty crazy. What do you think about Izzy's last fight too? I mean, do you think he was not performing good or was just Sean? That's out? probably hard for you. You're a fan of Izzy and a friend I of know. Sean, huh? Man. Yeah, it was. I was just like, you know what, may the better man win. You know, I I did go in. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it's bro, it's crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all this too. I am, I think I'm what three and zero in title fights so far. Wow. Yeah. So I helped Strickland. I helped Bisbing. I helped Biz. Yeah, Bisbing. Who else? I helped against else. Rockhold. Yep. Oh wow. Yep. I think there's one more person I can't think of. It's two and zero so so far. Let's go. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh. It was, uh, you know, it was like, like I said, it was like, I just want to see the better man win, you know, and like, I've always had respect for Izzy and his team, but also like he helped Dan get ready for me. So it's like, you know, like, yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna go help my boy, you know Part of the I mean? game, like, yeah. Yeah. It's a part of the game, bro. It's a part of the business. So I'm happy Sh uh, Strickland won, you know? Dude, I mean? Yeah, that was cool. We, we went and watched it in the bar crazy. freaking that first round. He drops him. I almost dropped my beer. Everybody's fucking going crazy. <laughs> his I was going, style though is just nuts. He just I mean, freaking just walks right into guys like this, yeah. dude. Like you think he's going to get knocked out. What is that? What is that like? Like, I'm sure you've been training with him for years too. People probably hated on him for that early on. Now he's sitting in the champion spot. Uh, bro, his style is so annoying. <laughs> like, if you if you haven't sparred with him and it's your first time sparring him, like his style is annoying. You know, is it hard to like work it's, on stuff? It's when sparring hard with to him? hit him. Yeah, like it's kind of stupid. Like, and he'll throw like just his front kicks. I'm like, bro, like just hitting your knee in your yeah, stomach. Like, yeah, I would never forget the first time I sparred him. I was like, all right, I'm gonna touch him. I'm gonna touch him. And I wasn't touching. Him. I was like, yo, this is kind of weird. It's like yeah. it's funky, you know. But it worked. It's so effective. For it's him. like super unorthodox. Yeah, but now over the years, like I kind of like got my feel. I'm like, okay, I know how to. Get in and figure and out, it out. Know. Don't tell Izzy. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's crazy because Izzy follows me, so like I was po I posted like um like sparring clips with Sean. So he, he peep in your stories yeah, at all? Yeah, yeah. Like and Sean, I'm, watch and out. And I'm kind of like, like I'm like I don't think Izzy underestimated uh, Sean. I just feel like Izzy had a. Um, he just had too much going on. He didn't like, have. I feel like he didn't have. Motive. I know his girl, him and his girlfriend were going through that thing or whatever. Yo, that's I saw. nuts. Wait, Super what nuts. That's nuts. Uh, his ex is trying to like sue him for, for I don't know. It, she's what. basically trying to get money like they were married, like a divorce, but they were just dating, right? He, she's like trying to get part of his bag for Could his you? fighting career. She's making a case for it. They're probably gonna go to court. It's pretty insane. But he was dealing with that. I'm oh pretty sure his dog God. died and shit. Yeah. Damn, what, half what, his money just for yeah. dating. Oh, that sucks. I feel like he is he. I don't, I don't know where his career is gonna go from here. He's in a super weird spot because that Perea win was like cool, but still like. Eh, I would have retired know? after that win, dude. Yeah, I just, <laughs> I just get out. I just get out while it's good, dude, dude. And then losing to Sean is pretty crazy. I don't think that they should immediate rematch though. I think Sean should get a different title defense personally, but. I would like that too. I would like to see. I just I think Izzy needs to take time and just yeah. like do his own thing. I think know? it would be cool to see him fight Drykus too, have a couple three round fights, yeah. whatever it is. But I I'd like to see Sean be uh on top for a little bit. He's he's gonna be an interesting champion for sure too. Oh yeah, for Being sure. Being friends with him, you know how off, yeah. off top he is. <laughs> yeah, that fool has no filter. Man. And it's it's if it, you know what it's it's funny because like 
like seeing how many people think that he fakes it makes me laugh. Like yeah. I like see people like, oh, this dude's just putting on a show. Like they don't understand. Like he's really like that's him being as authentic as he can be. Yeah. It's so funny. Well, if you bro. follow his social media, you <laughs> have see you all seen the his videos? Twitter like yesterday? <laughs> what he tweeted? No, no what he like, tweeted. Dude, he was tweeting about how I get how all you fucking pussies are so angry all the time. He's like, I haven't had sex in a day and a half. Like <laughs> all this shit, dude. He's like, I'm fucking pissed. He's like, he was like all pissed on camera. Dude. I saw I'm doing an interview it's with insane. that with that UFC girl, that Nina girl, and she was like talking about something long and black, and he's like, "Oh, I see how you got that John Jones interview." <laughs> oh. <laughs> some crazy shit. That dude, dude is crazy. Is nuts. Hey man, we'd love to have him on. That no, I want I want to have Deshaun Strickland. Have you guys seen that? Deshaun. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. That? yeah. Chris Curtis puts the do rag on the Hennessy on him. Oh god. Oh, that shit is hilarious, bro. Yo. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, that was oh my gosh that's so crazy funny. no he says some crazy shit dude like, yeah i love funny, his man. i followed him right after that fight mm -hmm. i was like dude this guy's insane even he was on like the nelk podcast yeah that was fucking <laughs> just tearing funny, them up dude. he's Strolling. like yeah he was like, get on you kobe you got tight jeans on yeah he's like why the <laughs> fuck you guys wear skinny jeans <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and they were like we're all sitting there they're watching like, they're all like, like fuck. Uh, what <laughs> we're all like fuck yeah. <laughs> you're wearing we some fucking Sean sweats on, on the podcast <laughs> Yeah, he got all dressed up. Yeah. What, exactly what he wears, the white T jeans yeah, just, and boots. Like a construction boots? worker. <laughs> what? He wouldn't stop talking too. Like I they know. were trying to like they were trying to like ask him questions and like he'd be like <laughs> he's funny, funny though i think that that's going to be good for just the growth of the ufc having different champions not having it all be like that conor mcgregor routine where it's like the loudest craziest like motherfucker up there being champion and stuff that's i think fact. that would be cool for you too we need a humble champion up there in the lightweight division that's a fact i love it we nah, do I, yeah I, I might talk a little shit i get the belt yeah I'm get it get it out but yeah, yeah, i feel yeah, like yeah. i feel like what you were saying too before is super true too like not talking shit when you don't need to like if you're going in tactically and you're like i know i'm gonna break down this part of his defense or this part of his offense like you can talk shit in that way still being honest without exactly being crazy you know what exactly. i mean exactly what do you think about that dylan dan is talking shit though dog wild dog that's wild that's a whole bunch of stuff you see what happened do you today? think it's too far though no yeah, it's no, it's like if your girl out there doing that type of thing, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. look, look, I <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to go too crazy. Hey, I got like a 10 count limit. Like, you know, you gotta be under 10, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's pushing it. I put, like that that. On a, put that on a five, plaque. Yeah, you know, agree. I, mean? I like that <laughs> under 10 bodies, bro. <laughs> For real. Yeah, and fuck, dude. Yeah, that's yeah, he's going in right now. But it's like, you know, he knew what he was getting himself into, so like he knew it. He had to have known. There's no way you didn't know all this was about to happen. You know, like Dylan Dennis's history has shown how wild and how deep he gets. 100%. You know? Yeah. It's like, I well, mean, it's also like if you're at home and you can look up this girl's sex history on your phone, what do you think Dylan Dennis is going to do on Twitter? Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, he was an offside. <laughs> My bad. Nah, dude. <laughs> Cut. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I don't even know what he. There. I think he's like the king of shit talk though. Yeah, no, he's definitely like up Khabib there. jumped the ring and fucking. <laughs> he got in Khabib's <laughs> head, dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude, remember that? Yes. Were you there? I fought that night. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, you were fighting no that night. Night. That's I wasn't like, there though. I wasn't there. But, I was just getting back. Yeah, you're it, probably it was, out. It was. It was up. probably rowdy. Dude, how were how were those press conferences? Dude? It was I didn't do it. I didn't do too no. much media. That uh, it was my that was my debut. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, that's sick. That's a cool ass debut though. Debut. Dude. Yeah, short notice, Ooh. upper weight class. You know, didn't go my probably way, one of the biggest cards of all time. Too, oh, for sure. Having your name up there—that's awesome. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna get on UFC 300 too. Hopefully that yeah. happens. That would That's be sick. sick. Get my boy Jalen on UFC yes. 300, please. Yeah, oh sure. my god, Hashtag. you do not want to see my character, dude. My custom character on UFC. Oh, oh dude. this guy <laughs> was. Oh, I thought you were talking about the game for a second. No, I'm stupid, UFC dude. UFC 300, bro. Bro. It's it's card. Card. See, I'm dumb, dude. Hey, it's my bad, my bad. It's a sports event going on. Say EA Sports, dude. Are you yeah. on the, the game? No, I'm not. No. Oh, yeah. We got to get you on there. You probably dude. knock him out on the game too, bro. This guy's trash. <laughs> <laughs> I've never won a match on there, dude. Yeah. It's fucking not got every garbage. time, dude. I'm playing as Jalen Turner on the new one. Hey, UFC five, baby. I'm, yes. I'm not playing that game until I'm in the game. Yeah. Oh, you're not you're not are you not no, in the so new game? Just, no. mm -hmm. Oh what? That's some bullshit, dude. Dude. I think I'll get on EA, EA skate before I get in UFC. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? You know what? I'm not buying UFC five until Jalen Turner's in the game. We gotta take it out at there right now. Dude. That's bullshit. Let's go. It'll be it. sick. 
Are you still skating here and there? Yeah, you still skate every once in yeah, a while? A little bit, yeah. I don't nothing too crazy. Just flat ground. What's like the craziest trick you ever got to? Just flat? Um probably Nolly Bigger Flip. Dang. That's that is a crazy. Um, I got to I got to varial and I was like, okay, I'm gonna break my ankle. Or I something. got to <laughs> yeah. I got to hip is it called hippie jump? What where you like uh, jump over a bar? <laughs> dude, <laughs> Jumps over a freaking pole. Dude, the ollies are cooler than that. And then I just eat shit every time I get on it, dude. <laughs> this guy. That's my history of skateboarding. Dang, but, dude, thank you. Yeah, this has been a super cool episode. Thank, thank you for coming so on, bro. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to come out in January. We're going to come support. Yeah, let's, let's go. We'll it. come to fight. Yeah, Sorry we'll for some for of sure. the dumb shit I said. I don't know what the hell I said, but. Probably yeah, wasn't. You, you might get some backlash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was not good. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, they're fucking. Dude, see, they're fucked, dude. <laughs> this is fucked. Watch. <laughs> <Kyler's getting laughs> Thank you, getting canceled. I love you, bro. Thank you. Dude. You're gonna hey, man. Thank you guys for watching. Yes. Yeah, Kyler, Zach. Basement talk, subscribe. Please sub, like this video. We're gonna have Jalen on again, hundred yes, percent. But we sir. hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Cheers. Jay with a baby, I am what he made me. No, you cannot shame me, so it's for the birds. Buy for a price, you ain't know what it's worth. He not letting go like it's grandma's purse.